to the YouTube channel. So this is the lecture two of ISR subject of unit one that is introduction to information retrieval. So in this video, we'll cover the IR system block diagram and the previous two topics we have already covered in the lecture one. So the li link of that video is given in the description as well as in the i button. You can check out that video. So let's start this lecture. So before moving to the actual block diagram, we'll first understand what is IR or IRS that is information retrieval system. So from the name only, we can get idea that it is retrieving information, right? Information retrieval means it is retrieving information, but how it will retrieve or in what way it will retrieve that is nothing but the information retrieval system. So the definition is given as information retrieval is the formal study of efficient and effective ways to extract the right bit of information from a collection. Okay. So in short, it retrieves the information in an efficient and effective ways. That is nothing but information retrieval. And what is information retrieval system then? So information retrieval system or IRS is a system that is capable of storage, retrieval and maintenance of information. Okay. So whatever the information we are retrieving that should be stored or whatever the information we are ext extracting from the unstructured data that should be stored somewhere. So the storage of that in, uh, information, retrieval of that information. So the retrieval should be an efficient and effective, effective way. And finally, the maintenance of the information. Okay. So the main, the information should be maintained and organized correctly. That is nothing but information retrieval system. So in simple words, IR is nothing but the study of finding needed information. Whatever the user is trying to search or whatever the user is looking for, that particular or that relevant information we have to retrieve and display to the user. That is nothing but IRS. And this system helps user to find information that matches their information needs. Okay, so now we'll move to the actual block diagram of information retrieval system. So here there are three main components in this system. So first is the input. Second one is this IRS or you can call it as processor and third one is the output. So in input, you give the query, you type the query in the search box and then that from that query, the significant words, whatever the significant words are there inside that query that are extracted and then they are sent to the information retrieval system or the processor to process. So now this information retrieval system will process that query and also it will execute the retrievals, retrieval as well as the searching operation and while processing it will refer to this document repository. So what is this document repository? Basically it contains some pre-processed documents which helps this processor or this IRS system to display the output. Okay and that output will be more relevant or the set of relevant documents that the user is trying to find, trying to search. And this feedback is nothing but whenever the output is displayed to the user, the system is accepting the feedback so that it will check whether the rectification of the working of the system is required or not. Okay. So if there is any changes needs to be done while displaying the results or the results displayed to the users are correct or more relevant to the user query. So that is nothing but the feedback. Okay. So now we'll move. Uh, also, I have given here the bullet points about the components of the system. So first is input. So input is nothing but the keywords or the query that you type or the information that the user wants to search, and it only stores the representation of the document or a query. Okay. So what this means that when you type the query, then it will be processed, and after processing, that query will be lost. So that means it is temporarily stored. Okay. Now next is document repository. So document repository, it means it stores some pre-processed documents and which helps or which are referred by the processor while the processing. Third one is the information retrieval system or processor. So it processes the input query and it performs actual retrieval function and also executes the search strategy in response to a query. Okay, so it processes the query and it performs the retrieval and search function. And here we are considering the Google search engine as our processor. Then the fourth point is output. So the output is nothing but the set of relevant documents. 
Now you'll see the working of the IR system. Whatever I have explained while explaining the block diagram that is mentioned here. So first is the input queries are given or entered by the user in the search text box, which is accepted by the information retrieval system. So here Google search engine. Now after accepting the query, IR system processes that query by referring the document repository which has already pre-processed documents stored in it. Also, it performs the actual search function and executes the search strategy in response to user queries. Then finally, after processing query, the output is displayed to the user in the form of set of relevant documents. Ideally, the system is accepting feedback of user for rectification that is if any changes of the working of the system while ranking the set of documents is required or not. So this is the working of the IR system. Input is accepted by the processor. It will process and also it will execute the retrieval as well as search function. And also it will refer to the document repository while processing. And after processing, the output is given in the form of set of relevant documents. And the feedback is accepted to check whether the rectification of the system is required or not. So this is the simple working of the IR system. Okay, so now we'll move to the challenges of IR system. Okay, so challenges in IR system. So first is the document and query indexing. So indexing is important because it helps us to retrieve the information in short time. So that's why indexing is more important and we have to do the indexing in correct way. So that is nothing but one challenge. Then second one is query evaluation. Whatever the query is entered by the user, it should be correctly evaluated so that it will give the relevant output. Accessibility, the documents, whatever the user is trying to search, it should be easily accessible to the user. Then redundancy. So redundancy means we, uh, we have to try that the duplicate documents or the duplicate information is not to be displayed to the user. Okay. Only the most relevant documents should be visible. The next is the lack of structure. So because the data is available mostly in the form of unstructured data. So what is unstructured data that we have discussed in the first video. You can check out that video. Link is given in the description as well as in the i button. So lack of structure is there. And then the data, different data sources. So data is available from various sources and in large volume. So we have to um, extract the useful information and then we have to perform the retrieval and all. So that is nothing but one big challenge for the IR system. So in this video, we have seen what is IR and what is IR system. Then we have seen the IR system block diagram, then its components, working of IR system and the challenges in IR system. So that's it for this video. If, if you haven't watched the first lecture, then you can watch that. Links are given in the description and in the i button. And if you like this video, please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.